Recently, we've been looking at some network radio devices and I'll be showing you some nice little handsets and mobiles which I'm hoping inspire you to try Zello and the whole POC scene. Now, some of the devices I come across can be quite unusual. So today I wanted to show you this little Unitone B5 and it's probably ideal as a starter network radio for those on a budget who want to try one without the cost. This is around £45 at the time of filming and you can see it looks great. It has a simple design and I really like the blue accents but the radio does have its drawbacks which I'll come to soon. This is an Android device. It has Bluetooth connectivity and a large capacity battery. These devices don't use much power as they can't be used as a smartphone and don't support VHF or UHF radios so the battery lasts a long time. It has a SIM card slot so it can run off 4G and also has Wi-Fi so it can be used on a router, a hotspot or as a tethered device. It has a PTT on the side and two other keys which navigate up and down. Now the up and down buttons on the front do the same thing and the group and single user buttons do the same thing as well. So these were probably made for another purpose and possibly not for use with Zello in mind. It has an OK and Enter button, a Back button, a Menu button and a Keypad Lock button. As you can see the Menu button only toggles Zello and Settings. In the Settings you can navigate through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Location Services, Boot Sound and restore. So as you can see this is solely a Zello device and it'll probably suit me as a monitor radio for the shack as it really needs a little more work. The lack of touchscreen isn't the end of the world but the lack of numerical keypad makes it quite complicated to set up and navigate. It's very fiddly. It took me a while to figure out how to get into Zello as the login process is hard without that keypad. The up and down buttons navigate up and down and when pressed and held they navigate left to right. But I did get there in the end and the only other issue is that you can't see the full detail of your channel and contacts on the screen. Now don't get me wrong when I got the radio set up and on Wi-Fi and running on Zello it was okay and actually sounded good but as I said this is probably more of a monitor radio for earwigging and not everyday use and I picked it up just to see if it was worth the £45. As I said this was probably designed for one of the PTT apps with limited functionality and is quite fiddly for Zello. It does look nice though and for the price it's been quite interesting to take a look at. And just before we wrap things up I'm going to jump onto Zello with Paul who you may know better as Noxyman just to try the radio out. Okay, Paul, how's this one sounding? Uh, this is the Unitone B5. Um, a little bit further away from the mic this time because I'm behind the camera. Yeah, like I say, only a slight drop in audio there, Lewis, just because of that slight distance away from the microphone. But, um, yeah, absolutely sounds fine. Sounds absolutely clear. Um, there's no uh, distortion or anything in your voice and it's uh, perfectly good for normal comms, mate. It sounds really good. Yep, no worries. That's good. It's sounding sounding good uh, this end as well. You, you, I'm not sure what you're using. Probably using your phone, but yeah, I'm just trying this one out. It's quite an unusual one. Um, it's quite fiddly. It doesn't have touchscreen. It's sort of like a cost saving um, exercise. And navigating the keyboards and menus is a little bit, a little bit sort of uh, fiddly because of the lack of numerical keypad. But yeah, it's sounding okay. I, I'm doing a video on it, and I said it's sort of probably ideal as just a one channel. Um, monitor radio so uh, yeah it's a nice looking little thing anyway you'll see on the video it's got a um, blue sort of the odd blue button and stuff on it so it seems uh, seems to be working well anyway uh, back to you Paul yeah Roger it certainly is working well I'm using a really old OnePlus 5T at this end so it's like a four year old mobile phone now but it, it's uh, it's half decent and it runs all these apps with absolutely no problems at all so um, yeah no it's uh, it's absolutely sounding fine there Lewis and um, I haven't used the Zello network for a little while myself, actually. In fact, it was uninstalled. And, but um, I must say, it's still a, a, a very useful little application, isn't it? And, um, and when you can couple it up with the radios as well, it's, it's superb, Rod. Yeah, definitely. I'm the same. I've not, not done any Zello for a long time, but 
quite a few people ask me about videos on them, so I'm just doing a couple of videos on, on the bits and pieces I've got. Okay, Paul, well, I'll leave that one there, I'll say 7-3, but cheers for dropping on, and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, Roger D. So, there you have it. If you're interested in trying all things POC, then this may be one for you, but I think it may need a little bit more work. It sounds well enough on Zello, but the lack of touchscreen, albeit a cost-saving exercise, really does make things quite fiddly. But there you go. So that's a look at the Unitone B5 and I'll leave a link in the description below.